Uh, I started my business career when I was 18 years old. When I was 18 years old, I started in a, in a, in a company reselling uh, car parts, spare parts for automobiles. I started at the lowest level, just in a shop. And within 10 years, I slowly grew uh, to the management team of that company. And when I was 28, I was responsible for 100 million purchasing power. We had 120 stores all over the Netherlands, and we had a very good company where I worked for. And uh, I really liked that. Afterwards, I went to Volkswagen Audi. I was president of several dealerships, leasing company, finance company, and uh, I really loved that job. In that time, because when you are growing that fast in your life and you are young, you become arrogant. You think you are God in your own world, uh, you can do everything, you have nice holidays, you party, you have good friends. And, and one evening I came at home, and then my wife said to me, when you maintain this lifestyle, we will probably get divorced. I said, what are you talking about? You get a lot of money, we have holiday, you receive the car for your birthday, so what, what, is, what is the problem? And I didn't understand the problem. And then she said, you live as a god in your own world. You don't care about people, you don't care about me, you only love me because what I give you. you give, uh, I give you an upbringing for the children, I give you a nice home, I clean the home, uh, I do everything for you, but you can also uh, uh, rent a, or hire a housekeeper. She will do the same. Do you still love me? What is love to you? And then I realized that she was true and that all my relationship were changed. Customers became profit. Employees were costs. Friends were a good time. My wife was for good sex, networking, having a nice home, good upbringing from the children. And the whole world was about me, myself and I. And I was a Christian in that time and I gave money away and we did social entrepreneurship, but at the end it was still about who I am. And at that moment I realized that I was king in my own world and that God was only there to bless me. And that there was a wrong model. And that God said to me, well, I'm not there to bless you. I want to be your Lord. I want to guide your life. I want to set your agenda. I want to make uh, a difference in this world and I want to use you. And uh, I'm not there to serve you in a way just to make you rich. I want to use you to serve society with your business and with your companies, etc. And that was a change. And uh, then I changed to another company in the Netherlands and became president in the biggest reseller of cars in the Netherlands and uh, responsible for the Volvo and the Land Rover brand. And when I was 42, I became president of CBMC Netherlands with that perspective that we, as we should change business culture from living for yourself to serving society and serving the clients and serving the stakeholders. That still took a long time for me to understand. Yeah, that, that happened all kind of, of personal stories within. Uh, my wife was there, my father was asking me, you're going to church, but when I see you live, I don't understand where you're going. So you can do business in two ways. You can only live for yourself, or you can see business as a calling to serve other people. And first you serve the client, and out of the client you serve your employees, and you serve your suppliers, and you serve society, but you are a servant from God to serve society and business. And that's a different perspective. And when we can get, have that perspective of this serving attitude towards society and towards all the stakeholders of the company, it will change business. And then no one can be against you. All the preachers or all the, uh, the figures or all the pastors who say business is bad, they, they can hardly argue that business is bad when you serve everyone and doing well. And sure, when someone has a need, we need to fulfill the need. And we need to help the people. And we do it by offering a product or a service or whatever. That you make money of it, sure, you have to make savings, you have to make a living, you have to improve, you have to research and development, you need money for bad times when business is not going well. Oh, that, that is not the problem. The problem is, in, in the Bible, never that you make money, but when you have money, what you do with it, and how you spend it, and how you invest it.